What you are looking at is one of the most good looking hatchbacks on sale here in South Africa. The Mazda 3 is one of those cars that are very difficult to resist looking at whenever you come across it. Today we'll be checking out this updated Mazda 3. We'll look at its exterior design, critique its interior and finally we'll discuss its cost of ownership. You're watching Cars24, your ultimate car buying guide. Just a quick word of appreciation to all my subscribers, as recently we have hit 10,000 subscribers, which is indeed a very big milestone for this channel. Thank you very much to everyone who has contributed to this growth. By subscribing, sharing, liking and commenting in any of my videos, it means you have played a role in building this channel. I hope you will continue supporting us and we will continue creating these videos for you. Let's get another 10,000 subscribers to make a family of 20,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And now back to this Mazda 3. This car is one of the two hatchbacks that are sold by this Japanese automaker in South Africa. The first one being the Mazda 2. I made a very good review of the Mazda 2 back in January and I'll ping the link at the end of this video. The Mazda 3 was previously offered in four different trims, which were the Active, Dynamic, Individual, and the top of the range Astina. In recent years, there's been an increase in interest for SUVs, leaving these hatchbacks only for car enthusiasts and journalists. Mazda decided to shrink all these trims to only two, which is now the Dynamic and the Astina model. This Dynamic now represents the previous individual model and is packed with more standard features than it was before. And all of a sudden, the question marks over its starting price has suddenly disappeared. But we will talk about the starting price of this car near the end of this video. In terms of how it looks, not much has changed. The Mazda 3 still benefits from the Mazda's code of design language. The front design is clearly my favorite part of this car. It features very beautiful LED headlight with daytime running light as standard, and a distinctive and unforgettable Mazda badge embedded in the center of this beautiful front grille. The side profile features a sloping roof line, high side window line that contributes to the sporty nature of this Mazda 3. That big gap in the C pillar is the only flaw to an otherwise perfectly designed car. The dynamic is fitted with 16 inch alloy wheels while the top of the range Astina is fitted with 18 inch alloy wheels. The hatchback nature of this car is more evident here at the back. It features a roof spoiler, a rather narrow rear window, good looking rear tail light and two exhaust pipes at the bottom. Overall, the exterior design of this Mazda 3 is a good 9 over 10. The minus one is for the C pillar. The boot space capacity of this hatchback is measured to be around 158 liters, which is not bad really. Underneath your fourth floor is your temporary spare wheel. Now let's check out the interior of this Mazda 3. The quality of material that is used in this interior is on another level. If you're not a fan of chrome, don't come near this Mazda 3 because there's chrome everywhere. The steering wheel, dashboard, doors and your center control. The chrome also contributes to the premium feel you get inside this Mazda 3. This interior is the same interior you get on the CX-30, which is based on the Mazda 3. In this dynamic, you get nice things like a head-up display, push start ignition, an 8-inch display screen, which is not touchscreen by the way. You control it by using the rotary dial in the center control. This is made like this for safety reasons. This prevents you as a driver from taking your eyes off the road, which is usually the case in most touchscreens. This Mazda 3 is surrounded with airbags all around. There is driver, passenger, side, curtain, and even knee airbag. That's something you don't get in most cars. There are two Type-C USB ports and a 12 volt socket underneath your armrest. The seat trim in this Dynamic is cloth, while in the Astina is leather. You get lumbar supports in the Dynamic, but power lumbar supports and memory seats are only available on the Astina. 
For music lovers, you get an 8 speaker sound system on the Dynamic, while the Astina get 12 speaker bow sound system. The back of the Mazda 3 is not bad. Knee room and leg room is acceptable. Because of the hatchback shape, taller individuals will struggle with headroom. There are no rear air vents or USB ports for back passengers. There are two engines powering this beautiful car. There's a 1.5 liter 4 cylinder and a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine. The 1.5 liter is found in the dynamic in either automatic or manual transmission. In manual, it produces 88 kilowatt and 153 newton meters of torque. And in automatic transmission, it produces 82 kilowatts and 146 newton meters of torque. Estimated fuel consumption is around 5.9 and 6 liters per 100 kilometers. The better engine is a 2 liter, which is found in the Astina and the same engine that is found in the CX-30. This engine produces 121 kW and 230 Nm of torque. Estimated fuel consumption is 6.3 liters per 100 km. The Mazda 3 comes with a 3-year unlimited kilometer warranty, a 3-year unlimited kilometer service plan, and a 3-year unlimited kilometer roadside assistance. Now that, my friends, is true value for your money. This is the service and pricing guide. You can pause this video and take a look at these pricings. Now, how much will it cost you to buy the Mazda 3? As a guide, the dynamics start from 447,500 and the top of the range is thinner will set your net worth back by 565,700. The Astena is a beautiful car, but the Dynamic is the one I will personally go for. It has all the features I want from a car, which is a steering wheel, seat, engine, and some wheels. And beside, the Dynamic is 100,000 cheaper than the Astena. There's 100,000 extra for good looks that no one cares about, and additional features that you don't really need. Anyways, if we finance that 447,500 over 72 months at an interest rate of 11.75%, with no balloon a deposit, you can expect to pay around 8,783 rands per month. If you factor in insurance, you'll be paying more than 10,000 rands per month for your Mazda 3. And using the 10% rule, only people earning a monthly income of at least 100,000 per month can comfortably afford this car. Yes, we basically don't afford this car. I've recently reviewed my Cherry Tico 4 Pro. If you haven't watched it, now is the perfect time to watch it. I have also about 90 different videos on cars and some of them talk about car finance. You can also check them out. Liking and subscribing is free by the way. We'll meet again on our next video. Until next time, peace.